Facebook has said that it has removed a network of accounts from Russia that it links to a marketing firm which aims to enlist influencers to push anti-vaccine content about COVID-19 vaccines. The social media company said it had banned accounts connected to a UK registered marketing firm which primarily conducted its operations from Russia. Facebook said the campaign used its platforms to target audiences in India, Latin America and the US. The company said the Russia-linked operation created fake accounts in 2020, likely originating from Bangladesh and Pakistan. It said the network posted memes and comments on its platforms in late 2020, claiming the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine would turn people into chimpanzees. Facebook said a number of health influencers on Instagram also shared hashtags and petitions used by the campaign. It said this was likely part of the operation's known tactics of working with influencers. In a report, the company provided details of the two networks it removed from its platform last month. The two networks included a total of 144 Facebook accounts, 262 Instagram accounts, 13 pages and 8 groups. 79 accounts were removed from Myanmar. 13 pages, 8 groups and 19 Instagram accounts were removed targeting domestic audiences and linked to individuals associated with the Myanmar military. The crackdown also included 65 accounts from Russia. In addition, 243 Instagram accounts were also removed. Highlighting the purpose of the report, Facebook said that it regularly shares information about all the networks it takes down to make it easier for people to see the progress it is making to counter the dissemination of misinformation. The social media giant said that it will continue to share its findings publicly and that they will continue to work closely with law enforcement, security experts and other companies. False claims and conspiracy theories about COVID-19 and its vaccines have proliferated on social media sites in recent months. Major tech firms like Facebook have been criticized by lawmakers who say the spread of online lies about vaccines is making it harder to fight the pandemic. In the report, Facebook also said it had removed a separate network in Myanmar links to individuals associated with the Myanmar military and targeting audiences in the country. It said the operation used duplicate and fake accounts, some posing as protesters and members of the opposition, while others ran pro-military Facebook pages. The social network banned the Myanmar military from Facebook and Instagram in February after the army seized power in a coup.